Now there's a lot of prejudice and skepticism for bodybuilding because of the abuse of the drugs. Of course, we know that doping spread out to the Olympic Games in every sport almost. Sometimes it's really so obvious the massive abuse that has been extensively happening to bodybuilding and of course the death that come out of it. Uh, bodybuilding is not an Olympic sport and frankly I don't believe it should be ever done. Actually bodybuilding is a freak show because uh, size matters and it's not just about size, also it's about freaky conditioning. As a former champion and as a doctor I know that medicine has to be along with bodybuilding and bodybuilding along with medicine in order to get the best out of this. Bodybuilding is an art and in order to make the ideal body safely by using all those PDs and ergogenics, you need to be monitored close up by a physician who also understands the pathology, the pathophysiology of how steroids work, but also to know in first place the endocrinology, the biochemistry and the chemistry of nutrition, kinesiology. So it's something rare to find in a whole package. So people can get not just how to use steroids because this is something you can find probably anywhere, but how to use them safely and avoid the potential side effects that come out of it by the use of medical prevention, which is uh, the most important thing in order to have longevity. I'm among the very rare bodybuilders who became doctors or doctors who uh, not just did bodybuilding but succeeded in shows and became champions because it's, it's way different than using steroids, than working out and then competing and winning shows. I paid the price of my mistakes because I was thinking more as an athlete back then and not as a scientist. Of course, I was not so mature educationally in order to understand the stupid mistakes of the abuse I was using, but I was driven by vein mainly in order to complete my, uh, my goals and win. Knowledge is the most important parameter. That's why knowledge is power. All right, so day two here at the Arnold Sports Festival and here at the Arnold Education event, which has been a great success with all the speakers. We have Dr. T in the house. George flew in from Athens, Greece, and he's here for the Arnold Education, teaching people about TRT and, and olive oil, and you've got a book, and you have uh, an amazing history in this industry, and now you're educating people too. So um, how's the Arnold Education event been for you and the Arnold so far? Well, the Arnold Educational is, uh, was a proposal two years ago by Rick Collins, who is the attorney of the bodybuilding community. I met Rick uh, six years ago here, and we have the same uh, monopoly that he deals with bodybuilders, I also deal with bodybuilders, and we share the same passion. So uh, we've been cooperating, and then we were associates for muscular development. And then he asked me to, uh, to be presented in 2020, uh, last Arnold Educational, just before the pandemic. You know? So it was a, su a successful experience, and uh, we repeated this now this year with Michael, of course, in Dominate Your Game. Mm -hmm. And uh, we had Ronnie Coleman back then, now we have Andrew Rass and you, the VIP, you know. I have to <laughs> tell that you're a leg legendary icon to me. I grew up with your fabulous pictures in California, you know. Uh, they were hanging in my bedroom, you know, in the, in the, <laughs> nine, the late 90s. I love it. Yeah, with Frank Seppi. I met uh, Frank six years ago. You had many covers, you know. Yes. And Mila Sol, she's a friend. I met You're... him yesterday. I met him yes. several times. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, I have this passion about bodybuilding because I walk the talk and I, I've made the, the transition as an athlete to somebody who works now as a physician and helps people. Mm -hmm. And I want to teach people through my books and you know my lectures and whatever that is to avoid doing my, my mistakes and to uh, to support longevity and well-being through bodybuilding you know and minimize the harm reduction Wow so you said you made the transition from an athlete to a doc and a physician so as an athlete let me know what you share with me with what you did as an athlete and well i started from fitness i was lightweight 180 pounds i was 27 years old when i won the first nationals cool and then in 10 years later i competed in, in, in lightweight bodybuilding 190 and uh, my final show was uh, at the masters when i was waiting 185 around 
you know, I didn't come back this year, I mean, uh, in terms of shaping, you know, mm -hmm. I'm 48 now, um, and I want to promote longevity, you know, mm -hmm. and well-being, so back then, uh, you know, I was thinking more of an athlete, you know, um, I was not aware of the potential side effects that much, I was more vain, of course, I was more spontaneous, you know, I was not already a professional uh, a medical doctor, and uh, I was looking more of as an athlete. But later, when I retired, I realized that uh, health is the most important parameter. And if you want to do what you love and stay in this game, you need to support health, you know, and longevity. Mm -hmm. okay. And this comes out of regular lab work, you know, uh, consulting a physician, minimize the risk once you diet. Do not do recreative on tracks, you know. Eat clean always mm -hmm. because it doesn't matter if you have a six pack. Eating junk will clog your arteries. Right. And in combination with the with the, ster with, with, with the PDs, it becomes worse, you know. So we are what we eat, you know, and mm -hmm. this also reflects to how we look, but also inside the internal organs. Right. Okay, so you just mentioned PED. Can you explain what that is? Because some now viewers the PEDs may not. PEDs are performance enhancing drugs, are okay. chemicals that have ergogenic effects. They're not just hormones and androgens, for example, or anabolics. They're also growth factors, stimulants that burn fat, mm -hmm. that gives you the, this state of alert, this kick, and the estrogenics that, for men, they make them, uh, you know, to shed the fat, to look grainy. Uh, diuretics also, you know, so it's a combination of stacking substances. And actually, a dough is... is, is uh, is a medical treat is a medical treatment under, under under abuse. You have to know that all these medications were to support and treat uh, symptoms and diseases, but uh, magnified in the doses, they have a organic effect, but also they have the potential side effects. Mm -hmm. So I take it you're helping people to put something more healthy to together. Have reduction, yes, through and educating people on yes, on and the, the replacement different... therapy because we have to know that. There is a balance, there is a homeostasis, so when you use a certain of compounds, mm -hmm. the system shut them off. So when the lights turn goes down, you know, then you are in a shock state and you cannot produce anymore, then you need replacement therapy. But actually replacement therapy is about also on the aging, you know? Right, right, because as we age, yeah. we lose. I mean, I'm 51 now. We, we age, so, I mean, 10 years younger. Oh, you know? thank you, thank you. <laughs> but, you know, that, that comes from the lifestyle that we've yes. been living for so long, but the hormones still decrease over time. So, I mean, absolutely, we yeah. age because our hormones decline. And replacing the hormones is about well being and longevity, you know? Mm -hmm. So it's HRT and TRT. Right. It's important, really important. And I think a lot of people are starting to understand that uh, blood work is really important yes. because I don't, you know, all through my first 20 years of this industry, I don't think anyone ever asked me what my blood work was or, or I, you know, we need to, like anyone that I ever worked with really had me go get my blood drawn and look, you know, see where my panels were. And that's just something I learned about actually in my 40s. So, you know, you go back in the day, we didn't have all the internet. Well, you're young, you think you're, you're not vulnerable. You know? Yeah, well, and I didn't, but I didn't know. I didn't know either that it would be important. I think just with the internet and with more information coming out, more people like yourself who are trying to educate yes. and and share, um, it's really it's been really great because there's some more more people now that are learning and that are like, oh, I'm getting my blood work done because I want to, you know, make sure that I'm not deficient in something or I can build something up if I need to. Yes, I'm gonna. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> Life goes on still. The sneeze comes. I'm like, what the? <laughs> I can't sneeze right now. You're COVID free, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, my COVID's I'm acting kidding. up. Come on. Oh, I did have it last. Um, uh, well, I mean, well, I had whatever it's supposed to have because I lost my t sense of sm smell and taste, which was really weird. It was a really weird thing. Appetite. Um, yeah, no, I yeah, I didn't have it up. I didn't, you know, when you're not feeling good, you don't really want to eat anyway. Yeah. So, yeah, but I um, I stayed home and rested and um, had a doc that prescribed all the things for me and I got that. Vitamin D, zinc, vitamin C, NAC. Ivermectin. I got on ivermectin. Glutathione. Yes, and I take NAC all the time. Me too. And you know that Amazon quit selling it? Have you heard yeah, about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to ban the Crazy. good stuff, right? Crazy. I've been buying NAC for years, and all of a sudden now they're like, oh, we can't sell that. I'm like, okay. But there's still companies you can get it from. But yeah, so I've been, you know, taking all the things. I'll but give you some. I have it in my. 
in my bag at home uh, at the hotel because it makes up the fine, you know. Right, it's so a I precursor, take right? Milligrams every day. Yes, I take form. in the powder form. So I use a company called Life Extension, and yeah. uh, they're one of the name brands that makes a good why quality do they product. Why this? Pardon? Why did they uh, withdraw? Why did they take it away? Yeah. From Amazon because Amazon's run by. Uh, <laughs> Is there any harm the liberal? Medicine? No, it's because it makes people healthy. Oh shit, that's crazy. Yeah, well, I mean, we can go on about all that, but let's talk about your book. Yeah, I so want to know about your book because you gave me a copy, book. and I'm. Yeah, let's see. Let's hold, hold it up here. So the Bible of body building, and I made a comment the other day that my Bible's this thick, my real Bible. So it's pretty cool. <laughs> you I read the Bible, eh? I do. I read it every day. Good. You do. You're a so um, I am a Christian, non-denominational. I'm I go. Orthodox, but I'll, yeah. I go straight to Jesus. Okay. Yeah. Good. But uh, yeah, he helps me with everyday task and relationships and More work service. and everything. Yeah, absolutely. And he helps. He allows me to meet some really great people like you. <laughs> <laughs> After all these years. Okay. So tell me about your book here. So actually, I started writing books ten years ago in Greece. And I started translating them in English in 2017 after I wrote a proposal for anabolics to write the chapter. So I very first translated the tracks, the tracks, the chapter, you know. And after that, during the first pandemic of the COVID, I translated the nutrition and the training and the supplementation. And then I united both of them to this book, plus some extra features, oh, cool. some Q and A's, you know. I want you to tell me later your preview about it. So I've been selling this on Amazon, you know, it's going pretty well. And the Master Development, uh, my show, we promote this. Okay. And also in the magazine. Um, and yes, this is a mini, mini, this is the, the door to my international career. Because mm -hmm. I have patients that we consult and they read my book also in first place so they get some basic material. Mm -hmm. So in this book, you're going to learn how to eat, how to train, how to take supplements how to use safe drugs, what labs you need to do, some Q&As, uh, the basic stuff that a beginner starter needs to do, but also some advanced body goals mm -hmm. because they need to clarify about some health issues. Of right. course, there are people that may know this thing over here, but you know, the prevention is the key. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay healthy, right. you need to do the service in every car, you know, so otherwise it will break down, you know, right. no matter how good you are. Right. So consistency and uh, do regular lab works, you know, and uh, at least let's say twice annually. Mm -hmm. Eat clean, eat organic. Mm -hmm. Don't do drugs, narcotics. No, no alcohol, no tobacco. Do your cardio. Cardio not just to burn calories for the heart, for the cholesterol, for the lungs, you know. And actually, bodybuilding is about health, you know, uh, lifestyle. It's not right. about being a freak. Right. Right. It's the most healthy diet in the world lifestyle you know it supports uh, it reverses uh, osteoporosis muscle wasting diabetes but when the drugs come into the play for any any kind of uh, you know uh, professionals or uh, you need to to do it uh, you know safer right right in order to have longevity otherwise you're gonna become toasted right well that's great uh, you know there's never enough of this great information out there for people and um, you know, there's probably a lot of young bodybuilders who are starting out and don't have that foundation. Usually they have the they don't they don't, they don't know how the foundation. The theoretical experience from a personal perspective, by it's not combined with uh, scientific data. You know? Right, right. On the other hand, there are doctors who are clueless about physical education. Right. They just go by the book. But as Jay Cutler told me, going by the book makes you miss half of the truth. So the lethal combination is when you join both, mm -hmm. you know, and it's quite rare to find a physician that trains. Right. And if he trains, he doesn't take steroids. Right. And even though he does take steroids, he doesn't compete. Right. So right. it's so rare, this combination. Right. That's, and you that's know. you. Yeah. You've done all of it. It's like the all of it. you know, you yes. know from the inside. Yes. Things. That's, so that's I want to make people not repeat my mistakes. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to bring health to the bodybuilding, you know, because there are people who are broken down, you know, and this is sad. Right. And they, 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 they think so shallow for the first 10 years, you know, the outer view, but no, they, they don't look to the inside. Mm -hmm. you know? That's awesome. So, you know, so I have people come up to me, you know, because, you know, they see a healthy person and they'll say, so uh, what can I do to look like you, right? And you're like, oh. 
and they'll say, what can I do to get started? You have and, to improve and, yourself. Don't <laughs> right. compare yourself with Monica Brown. Monica Brown right. has different pathways, has different genetics. Right. Everybody has a different potential. But you need to be the better version of yourself. Right. Okay. And that's what I try to tell them. And I have three things. So tell, tell me what you think of this. Because, you know, when you're trying to talk to somebody and you don't have, like, a long time to sit and talk to them and you're, like, maybe in passing or something. And my three things are, I'm like, okay, these are what you need to do. You need to um, get your heart rate up a few times a week from exercise, not from being scared, <laughs> right? <laughs> Whatever exercise it is, you need to make sure you're sweating mm. a few times a week. And again, not just from, if you, you know, sweat, where- there's no intensity. And if yes, you don't, sweat, you don't drink a from, lot of water. From exercise, right? Exactly, yeah. right? Yeah. And then the other thing um, I would say is, um, you, oh, you have, to, you have to breathe deep. Like you have to get your heart rate up and you're breathing so that your lungs expand. Yes, exactly. So you get big, so people are always kind of surprised because they they they're, they're thinking I'm going to say oh do lunges or push ups or lift weights or whatever. I said no, whatever it takes to get your heart rate up, get your lungs expanded, mm -hmm. and get your sweat on all from exercise. Yes, a few times a week, and then um, and then it kind of gives us. So you approve of that? Is that good information? Yeah, it's sexy. Because I mean I'm not a doctor, yeah. but I try to find something. Nobody, that's, no, I'm I mean, trying to find something that's really simple for people to hear. Not everybody can do bodybuilding. You know? But physical culture and exercise mm -hmm. is the main thing. Right. Uh, stop the the, I mean, the the stress. I mean, the blood flow has to go. You know, the circulation has to flow. Right. Whatever that is, even dancing. You know. Right. Doesn't have to be all, all right. necessarily lifting weights. You know? Right. So here's a you brought up dancing. It's kind of a cute little story. In 1996, I believe I was signing autographs, and it was one of the first. Uh, events that I'd been to, and I think it was the Olympia, and I was signing um, autographs uh, th with EAS. They had hired me yes. to come work in the booth, and you know, it was still a new thing to sign autographs for me at the time. And this gentleman came up, got a picture, bought a picture and all that, and I wrote, stay fit and love life, you know, mo heart, Monica, mo heart Monica, right? Well, the next year he comes back. And I'll never forget this. He comes back and, you know, he was an older man. He wasn't like a fit guy. He was just a fan of the industry. And he came up to me and he's, and he's like, hi, Monica. And I was like, hi. And he's like, he says, I want to tell you, you changed my life this year. And I'm like, how did I do that? Because I'm like, who are you, you know? And he says, well, last year I came up and I bought a picture and you said, stay fit and love life. And he said, I took it to heart and I went home and I started dancing with my wife for exercise. And it brought me so much joy. So I got, we got fit from dancing again. <laughs> and, and then we were loving life because we were dancing together. And I, you bring that up and it just is like heartwarming yeah, memory. I was in my youth. Uh, you were dancing? Yeah, yeah. I was so you know, oh my gosh, what have you not done? <laughs> so what have you not done? I did a little bit of Google Boy. Okay. <laughs> You've done a lot. Um, so are you, you're from um, Greece, Greece, Greece yeah. and born and raised? In Greece, yeah. Uh, even though I don't look Greek, you know. Uh, well, I'm sure Greek. You know. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know that I would think you looked Greek. Yes. I mean, your, your body looks like a Greek god. <laughs> <laughs> you're in great shape. And I know that this is... You, you look very sharp, you're dressed very nice and professional, but I have seen your current pictures and you are in, a, I a, from, in uh, immaculate shape. I started athletics in school. You know? Track, okay. Yeah, I was a sprinter, so I had uh, the class to each white muscle fiber yes. for bodybuilding. Right. I was kind of mesomorphic, you know, I was building muscle easily. Yes. And I've been lifting since high school, so 1989. Right. Uh, and I first started supplements in 1997, at age 24. Okay. And my first competition was 2000 as a doctor already, I'm 26, you know, uh, but uh, this whole uh, philosophy was uh, all year round, you know, mm -hmm. train, eat, take mm -hmm. your supplements, you know, so it's a way of living, it's a lifestyle, you don't click right. that. Right, right. Well, this has been so fun. Um, are you speaking again here yeah, at the, tomorrow? tomorrow? Uh, 11 a.m. I have in the uh, second seminar about the okay. pleasure therapy. Okay. And the heart reduction. Good to see you. It's very yeah. nice to see you too. Have you walked through the expo a little bit too? Yeah, and, a little bit. Yeah. 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 Cool. And who's your favorite bodybuilder current? At the moment? Mm -hmm. uh, well, I believe Brandon Curry will win tomorrow. Who? Brandon Curry. Oh, good. Will hey, win. One of my favorites. Yeah. He was on my show. Yeah. I've had him on twice actually. He's, he was Did my you show see? also. 
That's so and awesome. I, I met him in uh, Las Vegas three years ago and Good. just last night. Good. Hey, so yeah. did you get to see, uh, wait, no, tonight's the pre-judging. The pre-judging, yeah. So are you going to the show? Of course. Of course. Yeah. Yeah, he, he's a family man. I respect him. Yes, man, he is. You know? right. He's humble, down all, And they're all his he's kids are here. No, his he's kids are all guy. here. Yeah, he started from low, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, he gradually you know, improved. Rose, right? And uh, well, uh, I'm a fan also of Arnold, of course. You know, uh, I have we have a mutual friend, friend Sippy. Yes, he was <laughs> just here a few minutes ago. You just missed him, but yeah, yeah, I met him here six years ago. And uh, I met almost every important guy in this, in this uh, sport, you know. Mm -hmm. I've been serving bodybuilding since I was a young doctor, 20. My, You've my been following it a long time. As an athlete, now as a doctor, as a writer, you know. Yeah. And it's my passion. Well, this has been really rewarding to get to visit with you. Thank you for my book. And I know you gave me uh, your olive, olive oil. oil yes. So that's from Greece? Yes, it's from Greece. And uh, I can't wait to try it. Yes. Tell me, tell us about olive oil and why is olive oil so important? So the benefits of olive oil, it has plenty of monounsaturated fatty acids, omega-9 oleic acid, mm -hmm. plenty in polyphenols, they're antioxidants, they're able to prevent oxidation of the bad cholesterol LDL, they can lower LDL, they can improve the aromatic index. Actually, olive oil is a medicine, you know, you can drink it, you can uh, eat it with carbs, you know, in your salad, mm -hmm. and I... I rather eat olive oil rather than peanut butter, for instance, or right, right. something junk, you know. Right. So every morning I take a, a rusk and I put it down in the olive oil, you know. You take a what? A rusk. What's that? A rusk is a dry piece of bread. Okay. Slice. Okay. So I put it in an olive oil and take all my good fats, I mean, dense form of energy, you know, in the morning in order to release it, sustain through the day. So just once a day? Once a day, occasionally we after each meal a little bit. Okay. And but how much would that be the first time of the day? Like, are you talking about like a tablespoon or? A soup you, spoon. A soup spoon. Yes. A soup spoon. A soup spoon. Yeah. So and after that, I take also my fat soluble vitamins E, D, okay, and A because they're absorbed with uh, with all the with fat. fats. Yeah. And also my good my omega three. Uh, and this keeps my lipid profile good. Okay. Yes. So that sounds like a good tip for anyone that's listening mm -hmm. to have their, but it's got to be the right olive oil. And I understand right now that Pure virgin. a lot of olive oil is being tampered with and sold yeah. poorly. You should so have, what, course, what, tried it. So what, what can viewers learn about looking for a good olive oil? Well, it has to be pure virgin. Italy, Spain, and Greece, the Mediterranean countries have. Pure virgin. Yeah. Do not heat it. Apply it raw. That's the, that was the after next cooking, question because it, it denatures it, right? And it Even creates though it a... has high tolerance of uh, heating, you know. But it's not meant for cooking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. You, you apply it raw after, right. after you cook, right? I, you know, I've shared this with so many people and they're like... a little bit and, bitter. And people are like, what? Because yeah. the whole industry was like cook with olive oil and i'm like no no, 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 no you no. use it after when your stuff's already cooked and then you just put it on if you want it on something but after yes exactly okay so that's right advice okay well i think we could sit here and talk about a lot of more things for a long time but i know that there's other people probably waiting to talk to you too and i'm so thankful to get to um, have a book, a bodybuilding, the bodybuilding Bible, the Bible of bodybuilding. There we go. It's Dr. T. And, Thank uh, you, Monica. And if I ever make it over to Greece, I'll have to come sure. Come see you and see your beautiful home. I want you to be a guest on the show. I would love to. Yes. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll this month them. after we return, we're going to schedule this, all right? Absolutely. Sounds Thank like you. a plan. Thank you so Thank much. You. All right, guys, you've been watching the Monica Branch Show. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure and follow Dr. T at Instagram. Uh, what is your Instagram? Dr. George Dr. George. We'll have to go okay. check it out. All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you.